Yo, what's up? We got the Blade Theory W. This is pretty much what you're gonna get in the box. It comes with two different canopies. One to carry an HD camera, one for not carrying an HD camera. You have your Foxeer Aero Camp rebranded for Spectrum. A uh, 200 milliwatt VTX in there. And you have your Spectrum receiver in the back and then your blade speed control on top of that. I had to relocate a few things and as you might notice, this wing looks like it has been beaten. You also might notice that I moved a few of the components to the rear of the airframe, specifically just to make it a little bit uh, easier to get the center of gravity right when using my GoPro session. And you also might notice that I have ripped off the camera mount. You can see uh, it has had some battle scars here. I have like a puncture wound from a branch, you know. You can see uh, <laughs> the chunk missing and the custom repair using the uh, packaging styrofoam. Oh, I got all my racecraft jellies in the house, you know, kind of love it. This is the uh, click and lock wing mechanism. Um, very solid, you know, there's no uh, no noticeable play or no, no weakness to speak of. Um, these little anchors, are not terribly durable. Um, I actually ripped both of them out. Um, super glued them back in and it's held up great. My only major gripe is that in stock form, it's all but unusable because of the noise generated by the motor speed controller combo. Kind of debilitating lines in the video. As you, as you throttle up, it becomes almost impossible to see. Um, much worse than any static or anything, so. After two batteries flying it like that and kind of freaking out <laughs> based on the static, I, uh, I tried a BEC, which didn't end up working because the uh, Foxier Aero Cam does not like to be powered off of anything other than battery voltage. Um, so I ended up just wiring in a 25 volt, uh, 1000 microfarad capacitor um, just to give you a little bit of power filtering and it made a huge difference. You can still see a little bit of noise, especially at the higher range of the throttle. Um, so here's a little footage from the DVR. You can kind of tell the noise. So for me, uh, the most fun started coming when I started playing with props. This is the stock prop. It's a 5x4, similar to uh, Blunt Nose, you know, 50-45 style. This is actually a 50-40 prop, is what Blade claims. Uh, next, I stepped up to some 50-40 by 3 tries, which were fine, and then to the 50-45 bull nose tries. Um, and this. This really flew great. I was surprised. I kind of thought that being kind of an inefficient prop, a try might not work. Um, but it, it really did feel good, and I did enjoy flying it definitely more than the 5x4 by blades. Um, the real fun happened when I got to my 6x4.5 uh, six, six props. Lots faster, lots better. Even on the stock powertrain, I uh, definitely cannot endorse using them at full throttle for long periods of time with the stock ESC and motor. Um, because they do get very hot. <laughs> um, but, you know, if you're generous with your brakes and, you know, every time you go full throttle, you give it a cool down run or just kind of let it coast for a minute, it's given me 20 or 25 trouble free packs.
I was pleasantly surprised uh, by how it performed with the session. It's definitely uh, not as much of a low throttle cruiser then, but all my packing tape doesn't really help that either. Um, it definitely works as a rocket, and I can't wait to see what I can do with some of that video, especially maybe stabilized. I don't know. Thanks for watching.